Mentorship Monday, Verses of the Week, Philippians 4, verse 4 to 7. And the word of God says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will guide your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. We pray and trust that the Lord will indeed bless the reading of Scripture. Hello and welcome to the Text Call Mentorship Podcast. The aim of this podcast is to encourage excellence in every individual that tries to listen to it. For us to be fruitful in every avenue that God has presented towards us. So we hope and trust that even as you listen to this, you may be encouraged and you may learn something about the art of mentorship. On this Mentorship Monday, we'll be discussing the art of peace. We're in a world where everybody wants peace, but very few find it. What is peace? Peace can be described as tranquility, harmony, and security. And we can see that this is something that we all desire for, particularly when it comes to the aspect of relationships. We want to be at peace with our neighbors. We want to be at peace with our families. In addition, we personally also want to find peace, especially peace, which is an inner aspect due to us struggling through the day-to-day aspects of life. But for us to also fully understand peace, we also have to understand where peace comes from and also the attributes where we have to find true peace. Because we can find peace from the aspects of a worldly standard and forget the aspects of for us to truly find what peace is, we have to take it back to the author of peace. And when we say that, the author of peace is indeed God himself. And we can see this through the scriptures. The scriptures teach us that God is a God of peace. And God is the one who tries to rectify the brokenness within the divisions of us as men, but also the brokenness that has now come because of sin between us and God. And God, due to his character, tries to find peace and finds peace in the person and the work of the Lord Jesus Christ. By him not vindicating his wrath towards us, we see that God in his wisdom finds a different way to find the war that is between us and him due to our sin. And he finds that by doing the ultimate sacrifice, which is by sending his son to come and take the sins of the world upon himself. And when he does that, he can now have peace with man based on us putting our faith in that work of the Lord Jesus Christ. So for us to truly find peace, we have to find inner peace. And the inner peace is us having a changed heart. And the only way we can have a changed heart is by us accepting one, we are broken and we need salvation and salvation is now being given to us in Christ Jesus. And once we accept that, we truly find salvation and there's no and we have peace with the Holy God. But for us now to exemplify that peace in every aspect of whatever we're doing, and as we strive for godly excellence in every aspect of life, it trickles down to peace in every avenue of every situation that we go through. The struggles of life are things that indeed stress us and bring anxiety in us. And as we have seen through the reading of the week, we see that anxiousness is something that comes with a level of us not having an inner peace within us. We can be anxious because of the situations that are going in around us to the point of where we want to find solutions that are man-made to address the situations that are presented in 
our daily lives. Our daily lives come with different struggles. Our daily lives come with an aspect of where we need to meet our daily needs. Particularly in this day and age, where the world is going through different challenges, particularly in the aspect of economics, where we are finding that due to circumstances, the world is struggling to make ends meet. And we have come to a point of where we are understanding that a situation that is at hand is indeed difficult and can build an aspect of anxiety in a human being because everybody is now thinking of how they can meet their day-to-day needs and how they will put food on their table as well as also for their family. And these are things that will stress us and bring anxiety towards us. Although the world is trying to find ways of how to deal with that anxiety, I think scripture also gives us a different light of how we can strive in the aspects of finding peace, even though the struggles are indeed hard. And we can also find that those things indeed stress us. But we have to understand that God has given us peace, an internal peace. And that internal peace is something that cannot be shaken by events that are going around us. To the point of we know there are needs that are needed, but God has also given us a formula like we have seen in scripture. He tells us for the people of God, do not be anxious, but we have an aspect of how we can communicate our anxieties towards God. By prayer and supplication, we make our requests known towards God. And God will help us in due time. But even as we wait, we can have that confidence that the God who saved us is the God who will keep us even in the situations that are hard in those times. This is not to dumb down the aspect of the situations you're going through. For the situations you may be going through are indeed real. But we're also understanding that those situations that you're going through can help you understand that we are not the author of life and we need to go to the one who can help us even beyond just our inner aspects of peace but can help us in the times of struggle. We see this thing in throughout the scripture where we see David in the Psalms is calling to God when Saul was troubling him and pursuing him. Even when the rebellion of his son Absalom, he went to God asking for help. So we can also do that. We see when the Lord Jesus Christ was going through the difficult time of bearing the cross, the first thing he did was prayer and went to God. So we can see that through this aspect, we can do the same things. For us to find peace in every situation we're going through, it can be money situations, it can be health, problems in our homes, problems in our society. God has given us a formula to find peace of God in all those situations. We pray and ask God for help. And God will indeed help us and comfort our hearts and show us that he is indeed God who can rectify everything. God has rectified the brokenness of man. So anything else that is external from the inner being and from the outside side, we can also have confidence that God can rectify those things. And if he doesn't rectify it in this day and age, we have the confidence that those in Christ Jesus will indeed find the ultimate peace and rest in God when we are finally ushered into his presence forever when the time comes either through the natural causes of death or when the Lord comes. So for us to strive for godly excellence, our encouragement to the believer is that continue to pursue God in each and every avenue of life. Circumstances in life will challenge you to want to side with the evil things, but we have been changed and we've been changed by God. And those evil things will only last for a season. But for us who are in God, we know where our external state is. 
and we can rejoice in that. As the scriptures in Philippians 4, it says, rejoice in the Lord. And again, I say rejoice. So it gives us that confidence of we can rejoice even when the things in life are not going in the way that we desire them to be. For the one who's seeking, encourage your heart to look to God and actually come to the point of where you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. The things that we chase in this world will indeed pass away. And the things that we chase in this world fluctuate up and down. But our position in Christ is something that is constant. And that is something that has eternal value. And we hope that you pursue those things which have eternal value by repenting and coming to the saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. So even as we strive for excellence this week, we pray that the art of peace may be something that may encourage your heart because our scripture tells us the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will indeed guide our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. So we pray and trust that the Lord has indeed blessed you with these thoughts and we just pray that as you go through the week you may strive for godly excellence and indeed find the peace of God through each and every situation of life. Thank you for listening. Until next time, God bless.